Shalom Mishpacha, welcome back to A Small Sanctuary with Rabbi Esther. And as you can see, my plane is about to land. Join me on this vlog as I am participating in a rabbinic leadership retreat. I landed in Washington DC only to journey out into beautiful Pennsylvania to a very special Jewish retreat center. And here I am arriving, settling in and meeting the rest of our team. As we prepare to hone our rabbinate, first time for prayer in these dark days. This retreat center slash summer camp was absolutely gorgeous. And it was a beautiful time of year to be here with the fall colors. So come along and let me give you a tour. Our team is doing a lot of bonding and talking and sharing. And of course, plenty of hard work and learning with a little crochet on the side that doesn't stop us from taking in moments of precious and fleeting beauty enjoying the landscape and going on plenty of walks. Look, a mezuzah, and here you can see the founding history of this beautiful camp and some of the many Judaic details I got to enjoy, like this quote from Pirke Avot, Ethics of the Fathers from the Mishnah, Bruchim Habaim, painted beautifully here, the blessing for hand washing before making the blessing on bread, and this beautiful dining hall. The kosher food was amazing and everything was so beautifully appointed and well maintained with original art pieces like you see here. Let's take a walk to my room. I love the perspective on this hallway as I walk to my room which was right at the end and of course here another mezuzah. My prayer stuff and new books for learning and edification. Get cozy in front of the fire before we go on a beautiful walk among the fall colors. The wooded areas around the camp were absolutely breathtaking. Get ready for a delicious ASMR video full of bubbling brooks and crunching leaves.
If you've worked up an appetite after a brisk walk, come enjoy all the glorious food. Now, I really enjoyed the food. Ain't gonna lie. Look at those rugelach. More rugelach. There are no kosher restaurants in my area. And so it is a real treat for me to be able to enjoy kosher food, especially kosher meat. After a wonderful and edifying retreat where I learned a bunch and made new friends, it was time to go home. So back in the car for our long schlep back to the airport. The scenery bore testimony to the beauty of this country. This is the only glimpse I got of Washington DC. I will definitely have to come back for a follow-up visit. Right now, it's time to get to the airport. The airport was really beautiful. It was modern, it was clean, it was functional and had plenty of amenities and these beautiful mosaics built into the floor, which I enjoyed, as well as the Gothic style detailing on the ceiling. I managed to pick up some gifts for my children and a book for my husband at this beautiful little bookstore. Walks around this Smithsonian gift shop, which was quite a lot of fun. Loads of fun books of tremendous educational value and this card deck with words to live by, which I got as a treat. Sushi for dinner, why not? And here I am getting ready to board my plane. This concludes the vlog part of the video and here is the second half. Among all the turmoil that we are feeling, come enjoy some beauty with me out in nature. Let's go for a walk in the woods. Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami. Be comforted, be comforted, my people, says the prophet Isaiah. Come walk with me and be comforted. Set aside your worries and sink into the beauty of the present moment. Breathe deeply, center yourself, and know that you are loved and surrounded by a vibrant and living universe. We cannot split the sea, but we can crack open our hearts and turn towards compassion, reconciliation, peace and growth. Turn to goodness and turn to light. We will praise the Holy One of Blessing. With your soul refreshed and your body restored, one last adventure. Our hope is not yet lost and our joy will be restored. <laughs>
Check out these cool trees, which have been decorated and painted over the years by campers, including some Hebrew detailing. Aren't they cool? Our journey ends. Time to walk up a whole bunch of stairs along this beautiful path. Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you for joining me on a very special and much needed walk. As we walk through life, we grow and we heal. And I will close out with a prayer for peace. We gather together in faith and with hope to pray for peace and for the safety of the people of Israel. Help us, O Holy One, and protect us in our hour of need. Touch our hearts, lest they be hardened with despair guide our thoughts, lest they are overcome with fear. Bring healing to the wounded and strength to those in mourning, courage to those in fear, wisdom to those who lead. Yadid Nefesh, beloved one, reveal yourself and fill the world with your light. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Be quick, God of love, for the time has come. Have mercy upon us, eternal one of peace.